Oh, by golly, I sure hope so. <laughs> Roger. Yeah, uh, 20 over right now. It's just coming up on the 36. Ah, uh, copy that. I was busy turning the volume down. I didn't look at the meter there, but I'm doing a quick recording for you. 87 QT at the 39. Hello. Yep, yep, Roger. Understood. Okay, that sounds really good audio-wise, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that across the board on all of it. Uh, really good distance checks on the 20-meter uh, and, I mean, 2-meter and 440, so only thing I can't check is 6, because I don't have an antler that will work on 6 to transmit on. You can go up there and do a, a long count, and uh, I can listen, but uh, wouldn't be able to get back to you so you know what it sounded like. And the audio sounds really good on it. It might be a little high, but then that might be your voice from being in your room. Well, that could be. There's a little switch on the back of the uh, microphone. I just flipped it over to the other side, so I wonder if the audio changed. No, 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 no. Sorry. It, I mean, it sounded like it might be transmitting a couple of KCs high. Uh, but like I said, you are in a different environment than I normally listen to you in, so that might be what is causing that QSL. Ah, roger that. Okie dokie. Well, we got a minute and a half of your audio here. Show on the screen in your uh, signal report right around 7 to 9. And uh, sounds pretty good on this speaker in here, but I'll bet you a set of headphones would probably be a lot better. Yep, yep, Roger, understood. Um, like I said, I got headphones at home, but looking at what you've got there, I believe my headphones have, um, I believe my adapter is set up for a, um, whatever you call these crazy plug-in push-click, uh, microphone connectors, and that radio's got a ring screw-on connector, so I'm probably going to have to get an, app, an adapter for that to make my headset work. Yeah, there you go. RJ45 plug. Ring screw-in adapter and push-in click ad or adapter. Right. I got you. Okay, I think two and a half minutes is probably good for the audio here. You're uh, almost 20 over this last time. I'm going to kill the video. 87 QT. 87 QT and 7 NJO, Roger. Understood. And I'd better be 20 over. I should be 50 over here fairly quickly because uh, I'm just making the big hook and right hand turn. Going to be pointing straight at your house here in about a minute. Yeah, almost 40 over. All right, for your gratification. We'll wait until you get all the way to exit 39 so you can see if you, uh, if you can smack this radio with 60 over. Now, wait a minute. I don't want to have to buy a new needle. Oh, you want me to put the attenuator on just in case? <laughs> uh, already I'm going to have to send Rich a new needle or a uh, bill for a new needle on this one from uh, over on the bridge coming into Washington a minute ago. Good grief. He was 40 over there. Yeah, there you go. Well, I got a pair of electric needle nose pliers. They're good for all kinds of electric needles that are stuck in the corner. You just got to figure out how to get it through the screen to reach the needle. 40 over here on the highway, so there you go. Nope, I'm sorry. 50, oh, 50 over. 20, 40, I guess it would be 60 over here on the highway from a quarter of a mile away. Yeah, that's where you're at too, right at 60 over. Alright, that sounds like a good deal. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll like it. Sounds, uh, sounds really good. Now I gotta get busy making phone calls to get dude to come out and skinny F3 and get uh, G5RB back up in the air and all of that kind of stuff. Then I gotta get busy getting my X team back up and rolling. Fun times, AE7QT.